Hi, I'm Paul from Madfellows and along with a programmer called Dan, we make up the two-man team developing Aero. Dan and I formed Madfellows in 2013, having worked together in AAA development for around 15 years. We basically wanted to get stuck in, be creative and make whole games ourselves. We put out a mobile game in January 2015, uh, then moved on to developing Aero, which is our first multi-platform console and PC game. Aero's been described as a rhythm rail shooter. We initially avoided branding it as a rhythm game because we put a lot of time into ensuring that it doesn't rely on rigid tapping in time. We want it to play like an arcade game and have the music be more of a cinematic score than a performance to be replicated. We have a fully licensed soundtrack by some of the big names in the bass music genres. We were fortunate that the record labels were open to talking to us and believed in the concept and the prototype enough to license their music to us. Taking into account that we're a, an indie team and we don't have anything like the music licensing budget of the big studios. The controls for Aero may seem unusual and oversensitive at first, but they should quickly become intuitive. The gameplay area is circular and the position of the left analogue stick directly translates to the ship's position on the screen. You follow the ribbons of light which are located around the edge of the play area by rolling the stick around its extents to match the ribbons. Ribbons represent the most prominent elements of the music and the players will need to follow them closely to score well and hear the track in full. Like a twin stick shooter in Aero, the right analog stick controls targeting. This works on the same one-to-one -one stick and screen principle as the ship's movement. You can designate up to eight targets before shooting with the right trigger. Enemies will always explode on beat. The trajectory of the missile will be adjusted to compensate for this, taking a longer path and splaying out more the further from the beat. Shooting just before the beat will result in a straight laser beam that means you're instantly ready to designate more targets and carry on shooting. Your score for destroying enemies is increased with shorter, more direct shots. After each set of four tracks, a boss battle is unlocked. There are 15 tracks in the game and three boss battles. The tracks can be completed without defeating the bosses, but to score big, they'll need to be destroyed during the track. To get five stars and really high scores, shots need to be timed to be direct allowing many more shots to be fired. Once the enemy has run out of energy, it will limp to the end, where you'll get to see it fall. Initially, only normal and chill out mode are available. Chill out mode allows players to play through any of the tracks with infinite lives so they can practice difficult sections or just enjoy a stress-free run. Advanced mode is unlocked once you earn 90% of the stars available in normal mode. Advanced mode picks up from where normal mode left off and includes simultaneous ribbon following and shooting from the start, as well as additional and tougher enemies. Master mode is reserved for those that have truly mastered the game. You need to earn all of the stars in advanced mode to unlock the last difficulty. And that's all from me. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact us and we look forward to hearing what you think of Aero.